What is Amazon S3 or Amazon Simple Storage Service? Amazon S3 provides you an option for secure, durable, highly scalable object storage system. Now, here the word object storage is very important. There is a different kind of a storage system. What we normally use is a file storage system where we have files, folders and all that. This is an object storage system. Now, what is the difference between an object and whatever the files you make that? When you make any file, if you are working with the windows, you might be very familiar with the directory and the folders and all that kind of a concept. If you make a directory or something, what kind of attributes it would have? It would have attributes like a directory name, the modified date, the if it's a folder, it would have something more or its file would have uh, uh, attributes like the size and other attributes too. Object storage system goes a one step ahead. It has a many more attributes than you normally define for a normal file. You can add your own custom attributes too and that is known as a metadata. So an object would be you can think it's a like your file only but it would have a multiple metadata and that is the reason it is having the multiple op options available. So, in the object storage system, you can add, uh, think of a, like an Amazon S3, it would have a metadata like it's a name, it's a URL, uh, it's a content type, owner, modified on, some tags, and you want to add your own data, you can do that. Overall, when you try to see Amazon S3, it's a very easy to use interface. But the most important part is what it does is it gives you storage for the internet. Amazon S3 is considered as a storage for the internet. Quite a few might have used the Google Drive or the different kind of a storage system over the cloud. S3 could be a different analogy like this. It's like a storage over the internet. Whatever you want to store, you can store on the internet. But that has to be a static content. That's the most important part you need to remember. What do I mean by static? It's not the database systems. Any files like you have a JPEG files, video files, BMP files, MP4 files, whatever kind of a files you have, Word, PPT, Excel, whatever you have. That's the static content. That's the file. You can upload those kind of content over there and access from anywhere in the world. And very easy to manage. You can upload, download, provide a very easy to use uh, APIs, functionalities. Even you can do everything programmatically also. You would love to know where this would be useful. If you know the Netflix, Netflix videos are on Amazon S3. Are you using Dropbox? Whatever files you upload in the Dropbox, eventually they are being stored in Amazon S3 only. So those files which you copy in the Dropbox, they are eventually being stored in the S3 and you get it to the Dropbox interface. So those files, those videos, whatever you see, there is a Yelp and there is Paytm in India and there are so many who are using Amazon's all images. They are using Amazon S3 for the content storage. The advantage is it makes a web scale possible. All your static content would not be served directly from now a server. Rather, it would be stored served from the Amazon S3. Your scaling is possible, which we will cover in our upcoming sessions. Now, I'm sure you would have a question. I learned the EBS. I am now in the S3. What is the difference between two? S3 is an object-based storage system, while EBS is a file system. EBS was for a persistence data storage. You want to store your database. You want to make your file systems. That is where the EBS would come. S3 says, I am only for the data storage. You store the data for the over the internet at one place and access from anywhere else. EBS is more like a disk drive, a plug and play device, which would be able to attach that. So if you try to see, you have a USB drive or your hard disk, that is more EBS kind of a case. When you try to see the Google Drive or some other things, that would be more like a Amazon S3. Where something is stored over the internet, again, uh, Google Drive, I'm not sure, but I believe Amazon S3 has more objects than Google Drive. Around couple of years back, 
or rather I would say uh, multiple years back in the, around 2013-14 Amazon announced they had more than 2 trillion trillion I'm talking about objects inside Amazon S3 and that's a fact because all your Netflix all your uh, Dropbox all your Amazon things everything is stored in Amazon S3 let's try to understand some more concepts about the Amazon S3 S3 has a two major concepts a bucket and an object a bucket is nothing but a fundamental container for objects a container if you want to give again a different analogy though not the exact word but in your hard disk you have a drive and each drive would have a different directories that is the exact concept a bucket would be you can say it's like a drive then all folders files would be in this drive only the C drive D drive the kind of a similar concept bucket is nothing but a container where different objects would lie now what is an object object is a fundamental entity basic storage entity is an object each object would have a data or metadata now you would say what is an object how do I make an object that is nothing any file whether it's a BMP, JPEG, video file, doc, PPT, Excel, text, whatever file you have, if you upload that to Amazon S3, that is treated as an object. Amazon stores it in, in an object format because it would have a data and metadata. It would have a key which would uniquely identify that. It would have a, its own version which would help you to identify the which version it belongs to. So this is all about the object any file which is uploaded to Amazon S3 is stored in an object format and each object would always be part of a bucket and this combination of bucket key and version ID helps you uniquely identify each object each object is a unique here it would be bucket plus key plus version that would help you to identify the unit now region we all know region the s3 is always a region specific there is a no concept like a zone inside the s3 everything is stored inside a region only also you are storing over the internet now you want to share with your family and friends how would you do that amazon provides the two options one is a access control list and another is a policy access control list helps you to specify which objects you can access and how you would be able to access moving ahead understanding of s3 one object can be of maximum 5 terabyte size each object would have a unique key to identify that that's the name of the object through which you can identify that objects does support versioning now if you have uploaded object of abc.jpg you upload and you have enabled the versioning if you upload new abc.jpg it would not delete the previous one rather it would create a new version for the abc.jpg and you can receive whichever version you want to download from amazon s3 objects are always part of a bucket objects cannot be an independent that's if you see any folder file would be part of a drive it cannot be anywhere else the same concept here interesting factor is s3 follows intrinsic redundancy and that's what we are going to see in detail because it's a very important concept to know a owner would have a full control over the object or even he can give the full control to someone else also of that object or bucket s3 has a wonderful feature called hosting static websites if you have a static content normal html pages or even sometimes you can think it's a angular js and something which makes this race calls all those kind of websites can be hosted on s3 at the most cheapest rate and with the best of the performance we would see how we would be hosting a website also s3 does support the life cycles s3 is accessible over internet with the unique url you can access that object with the url also how would you do that log into amazon s3 console you have to create a bucket the bucket would have a unique name to be given then inside a bucket you create an object you give the object access control list if required you can create a folders also the folder is nothing but a empty object when we go to the demo we will see about the folders too 
and then you can access the object over the internet too.